Hello, I am Kai Bueller, and I will be performing a monologue from How I Met Your Mother and a dialogue scene from The Office. Hi, I'm Ted Mosby, and in exactly 45 days from now, you and I are going to meet, and we're going to fall in love, and we're going to have two kids. We're going to love them and each other so much. And all of that is just 45 days away. But I'm here now, I guess, because I want those extra 45 days with you. I want each one. And if I can't have that, then I'll take the 45 seconds before your boyfriend shows up and punches me in the face because I love you and I am always going to love you until the end of my days and beyond. You'll see. I have recently taken a lover. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. Who's the lucky leader? Pam's mom. What? Pam's mom, Helene, remember? From your wedding? You're messing with me. About what? Well, you did not have sex with Pam's mom. Oh, big time. What kind of car does she drive? She drives a green Camry. Shit. And the seats go all the way down. All the way down. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Okay, first, never tell Pam. And secondly? Okay, good. A pact. A pact, although I may have to break it tonight when Helene and I tell Pam over dinner. You alright? Hey, Jim. Not now, Toby. My God. Just get the heck out of here, idiot. What did I do? Okay, as far as dinner tonight, cancel that. And please, for both our sakes, don't ever, ever see her again. I think you're underestimating Pam. I think more than anything, she wants me to be happy. No, not more than anything. Okay, I have a good thing with the mom. Don't call her mom. She's right on my way home. Then take her. a different way home, man. I, all right, I'll take the same streets. Is the last thing the world I want to do is upset Pam. Okay, great. So we're good. Yeah. So the question number one is why you chose these two scenes. So I chose these two scenes because I think they're both very strong and layered scenes. The monologue especially. As the first time you watch it, it's very sad. But later in the show, you find out that it, the mom died, and that's who he's talking with. And it makes it so much more heartbreaking and you understand even more why he wants these extra 45 days. Um, and that's the kind of scene that I really like working with as you have the extra knowledge to use in the scene, but it hasn't been conveyed to the audience yet. And I think that's just very fun to work with as an actor. Question number two is how long have you wanted to act? And when I was three years old, I started dancing and that gave me a love for performing on stage. And through dancing, I discovered musical theater, and through that, I discovered just acting in general. And since my first production, I just knew, like, I love doing this. I love acting. And I knew I wanted to pursue this further as a career. Question number three is who inspired you to want to act? And I would have to give credit to my high school acting teacher and director. She has always been a big role model in my life. I've known her for a very long time. And she knew I wanted to act. And she was the one who really gave me the push to go pursue this. So question number four is, what are your strengths and weaknesses as an actor? And I'd have to say one of my greatest strengths is really being able to analyze a character. So after I read through a script, I'll read through it again and write down little notes about what my character is thinking in the scene, what his relationships are with other characters in the scene, and his whole arc throughout the entire script. And with that information, it's really helpful to know what emotions I need to hit and when I need to hit them, and just knowing the script a whole lot better. As a weakness, I would say physical comedy is one of them, as I've just done more drama work in my life than comedy. And with physical comedy, you really need to have more exaggerated actions and movement, whereas drama tends to focus a bit more on realism. So physical comedy is definitely something that I'm excited to learn a lot more about. Question number five is, if you couldn't be an actor, what would you choose to be? And I would have to say a director because one of the reasons I love acting so much is because I love telling stories and storytelling in general. And directing is another way to tell stories. 
and I've actually had some experience as a couple years ago I directed a one-act play. Unfortunately because of COVID it was never able to be performed on stage but I love directing it anyway so if I couldn't be an actor I would definitely love to be a director.